and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Thanks a lot for clicking on my video today. I really appreciate your time and attention very much. And if you like my videos, you like the advice, the tips, the educational information, maybe some of the humor, then please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. It's a free way for you to help support the continued production of these free videos right here on YouTube. I need your help. If my YouTube channel doesn't grow, I can't keep doing videos. So please subscribe right now. Okay, so today's video is about a topic called sawtoothing. And I'm not sure, I've done a lot of videos about screen printing, so some of them that we're doing today are pulling topics out so you can easily find them. But I don't really remember talking about this previously. So what is sawtoothing? Sawtoothing is actually a very simple phenomenon that occurs with screen mesh and emulsion, okay? Um, you guys know that screen mesh is a grid of threads. We have mesh counts. 110 mesh is 110 threads per inch, and this mesh pattern, or the thread pattern, is a grid pattern. So it makes a series of squares, much like graph paper. Okay? So, when we coat the screen with emulsion, and we expose the screen and wash out the stencil, we're asking the emulsion to bridge these square gaps. And sometimes we ask the emulsion to bridge from corner to corner. Okay? Now, follow me here. When emulsion does not have good enough bridging characteristics, it does not bridge the grid or the graph paper, you know, squares, right? It doesn't bridge from corner to corner. It will take edge to edge. So that means instead of bridging diagonally from corner to corner, it goes right into the corner, 90 degrees. Okay? So that's what is known as sawtoothing. And usually emulsions with lower solid content do not have as good bridging characteristics as an emulsion that has a higher solid content or solids content, okay? So there are two ways really of preventing sawtoothing and that is one is to use a higher mesh count, of course, step up in mesh so that the uh, grid pattern is smaller and the emulsion can bridge it easier or you could possibly use a better emulsion. Now, the thing is, is that you will often see sawtoothing on a 110 mesh, but when we print the ink, we don't necessarily see that pattern in the print. And that's because of the way the ink flows out around the edges and bleed, you know, bleeds out a little bit around the edges. So sawtoothing, when you see sawtoothing on a 110 mesh and you're printing white ink on a black shirt, don't even worry about it, because you're not going to see it, okay? You would be more concerned with sawtoothing if it occurred on a higher mesh count where you're looking to get nice smooth lines, curves, circles, and things that you want to be sharp, smooth, and linear without any kind of jaggedness, okay? So in those situations where, uh, you know, maybe you're on a 160 or a 125, you know, the sawtoothing would not be a good thing. When you naturally move up to higher mesh counts, sawtoothing won't occur as easily, okay? And it's also important to note that you can actually cause sawtoothing in the washout booth by simply just washing the stencil out too long. Remember how I always say, wash it out as fast as you can and stop. That's one of the reasons why, okay? Because if you keep rinsing it out, those little corners where the emulsion is going from corner to corner will wash out and now it will be square. Okay, so hopefully 
I will have found some visual aids to put in to this section <laughs> to make it a little bit easier to understand, okay? So basically sawtoothing is when the emulsion cannot bridge diagonally the square of the mesh pattern. It cannot bridge diagonally corner to corner and it washes out and you get the square pattern of the grid of screen printing mesh, okay? so. If you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comments below. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informational. And of course, please remember that I do sell screen printing equipment and supplies online at catspitscreenprintsupply.com. And I have a storefront right here in Phoenix, Arizona, where you can visit me in person. So check out my website for details and hours of operation. Thanks a lot for watching today. And of course, we will see you next time.